Hi guys, this is part 2 in making a stickman scrolling platformer game in Scratch. So if you haven't seen part 1 yet, make sure to check it out. Link is on the description below. So on part 1 I showed you how to code our player, the platforms and our BG. And on this video I'll be showing you how to code the danger, the collectibles and the portal. So let's get started. So first I'll be scrolling through the code what we have done on part 1. So first the variables, so all the lowercase variables are for this sprite only and all the uppercase variables are for all sprites. So in our game on block, make sure you tick run with our screen refresh. And on our position block, make sure you tick run with our screen refresh. And on our tick block, make sure you tick run with our screen refresh. So you don't need to tick run with our screen screen refresh on change player x by speed x and change player y by speed y. So our platform sprite. So on your platform sprites, make sure you tick run with us screen refresh on both of the blocks. And make sure you make your X and Y variable for this sprite only. So make sure you make the x and y variable for this part only and make sure to take one without screen refresh on both of these blocks. So first I'll be showing you how to code our danger. So you could upload the sprites or remix my stickman scrolling platformer project. So when you upload the costumes they will be automatically centered. So click on costumes and select it and make sure you change the position. So when I receive green flag, we need to hide and then let's make a block called clone at x at an input called x label called y at an input called y. And then make sure you tick run with our screen refresh. And then we need to create clone of myself. 
and then let's make two new variables called x for this part only and y for this part only and then we need to change our x and our y by x and y And then grab the next costume and then when I receive a tick we need to make a block called position so add an input called x and y make sure you run without screen refresh and then We need to position x minus scroll x and y minus scroll y. So grab a minus operator and x minus scroll x, and you could duplicate this block. And y minus scroll y, and then. When I receive setup, then we need to point in direction 90 degrees and then we need to hide. And then we need to set our x and our y to 0. And grab an if statement so if level equals one then we need to switch costume to level one one so if you go for costumes then you will see I have six costumes for my first level so then we need to clone x 480 and y 0 so sometimes your danger might be in different position so make sure you change the position on the editor you could select and then change the position where you want and duplicate duplicate so for now we just need for level 1 and then whenever we see reset we need to delete this clone and then go for the position block and grab a go to x and y so if health statement where the end and the equals so if our x position equals so our x equals x position and y equals y position then we need to show else height And now click on your player and let's make a new block called game die and then click on ok and then we need to set exit to 0 repeat 10 we need to change of a size by 3 and then we need to change our ghost effect by 5 and then on this define tick block scroll down 
this remove this switch costume animate and grab a if statement so if a y position is lesser than negative 178 then we need to set our exit to die set exit to die this block will detect if our player falls down, then we will restart our game. So if touching danger, then we need to set exit to that. And then we need to switch costume to anyway. And now, go to top and on this. When I receive play game, if else, so if our exit is equal to die, then we need game deck so okay now let's test our platformer so now you can see our danger appears and if you touch the danger your player would duck so our danger works So now I'll be showing you how to code our collectibles. So make sure you upload collectibles or the coin. So you can name it as collectibles or coins. And now grab when I receive green flag we need to hide. And then let's make a block called Position X and Y and make sure you, and make sure you take run with that screen refresh and then we need to go to X and Y grab if a statement so if our X equals x position and y equals y position then we need to show else height and then we need to turn 10 degrees And then grab a when I receive setup. Then we need to hide. And then we need to set our collector to zero and set our points to zero. Now let's make two new variables called x for this right only y for this right only. And then we need to set our x and then we need to set our x and y to 0 grab if so if our level equals 1 then let's make a block called clone at an input called x and y 
Make sure to take one with us going refresh. We need to close at X hundred and Y negative hundred four and duplicate. So these are my X and Y coordinates of my points. So I'll show you how to get these positions. So for now, grab a set of X to negative nine 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 nine. So it goes off the screen, and then. Go for this define clone block. Then we need to set our x to x and our y to y. And then we need to change our points by one. Set our size to twenty. and create clone of myself and when I receive reset we need to delete this clone and then when I receive tick we need to position so grab a minus so it's x minus scroll x and y minus scroll y grab a if so if touching player then we need to change collected by one and then grab the if statement so if collected equals coin then we need to broadcast a message called open photo and then delete this clone And now click on stage and then when M key press so you could we need to set our mouse variable to grab a join. And another one so join comma so grab a plus operator so mouse x plus scroll x comma mouse y and scroll y and then we need to show variable mouse So keep your cursor where you need to place your coin and then you will get this X and Y position and then you could click on collectibles and then 
we could grab a clone block and then enter this X and Y position. So it's really easy, you need to keep the cursor where you want the coins to appear and then click on M. So our code works. And now I'll be showing you how to code our portal. So click on portal and make sure you upload these two costumes named the close portal and our open portal. So first grab oh when I receive a green flag we need to hide and then when I receive setup we need to hide and then set collected zero and let's make two new variables of x and y for this point only and then set both our x and y variables to zero and grab a if statement and then grab a if else statement so if our level is lesser than 5 then we need so if our level is lesser than 5 so I have only 4 levels so you could change this value to the amount of levels you have grab a if statement and if level equals 1 And then switch costume to post portal and then let's make a block of clone X and Y and make sure you tick one with us screen refresh and then we need to clone 2548 and Y negative 91 so this is my X and Y position of my portal so you could enter your own values and then we need to set our X to negative 99999 so it goes on the screen and then define clone we need to change we need to set our x to x and our y to y and then when I receive reset we need to delete this clone and make a block called position add an input called x and y then tick run with our screen refresh and then we need to go to x and y grab a if else statement from control grab a n and two equals operator so if our x is equal to x position and y is equal to y position then we need to show else height and then we need to turn 15 degrees and then when I receive tick we need to position to x minus call x and y minus call y and then grab a if statement so if grab the end grab the equals so if our costume number it was two so that means if our costume is the open portal 
and if it's a team player we need to set our exit to win and duplicate this and remove this position block and remove this costume number and grab a knot so if not our coins uh, equals collected and touching player we need to set exit to that and when I receive open portal, we need to switch costume to open portal. And then now click on your player. And then make a block called game win. And then on this when I receive play game and if exit equals die we need to change it to win and then we need to game die and then remove this game die and place it in the else and place the game win in if and then define game win we need to repeat 50 we need to point towards exit and turn 65 degrees and move gravity y to so distance to exit and then change our size by negative 0 0.25 and then we change our ghost effect by 2. And we need to hide and clear all graphic effects. And then we need to change our level by one. So what this code does, so it would. And then we need to wait one second. So if our we have so if we have collected all the coins and touching the portal then we will move to the next level so now let's test our game so now you can see when we have collected all the coins and if we touch a portal we will move to the next level so we haven't coded our level 2 yet so our game works so now you can see our danger point and portal works so if you like so my so on part 3 I'll be showing you how to code the saw the jump pad and how to code the other levels so if you like this video, please make sure to give it a like, subscribe and share. And see you in part 3 in making the Stickman platformer game on scratch.